Hi, I'm Derek Mullen. I wrote Swipe Right for Murder, which came out in August 2019. It is a gay, a Hitchcockian thriller about a troubled teen who gets caught up in a case of mistaken identity. It is a uh, loose homage to uh, North by Northwest and a lot of those classic uh, mistaken identity capers. Uh, I just wanted to talk about a bunch of books that I just pulled off the shelf that have meant a lot to me over the years. I grew up reading these sort of classic epic novels and the you know the classic tradition and uh, Donna Tartt reminds me a lot of those books um, and this is one of her most underrated I mean she only wrote three but this is like her underrated masterpiece The Little Friend which is this southern gothic story about a family and um, I don't know it, it, it called up all these memories uh, for me about all those you know southern writers from Faulkner to Tennessee Williams to Carson McCullers and the fact that it was set in the south I just think it's it's there's elements of it that are um, have some of her strongest writing and uh, I just wanted to, to, to mention that one. Graham Greene's Brighton Rock is one of my favorites. Um, it's about a, um, a gay, it's basically YA before YA was a thing obviously, um, but like uh, it's about um, a, a bunch of teenage gangsters in Brighton and a young girl who gets caught up with them uh, has a razor sharp sense of humor. Graham Greene is one of the greatest novelists um, we've ever had. Ernest Hemingway's Farewell to Arms. This is actually my parents' copy. They had, the, 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 this is what they had in college. And when I read this copy with the pages are yellowed and kind of falling apart, it became part of the experience for me. And as we all know, Hemingway was a journalist and he, he covered bullfights. Uh, and I saw a bullfight when I was 16 in a small French town that was in the corner, of, uh, corner uh, uh, it was bordering Spain. So they had this bullfight. It was so amazing and disturbing and horrible. Um, and so I don't know, I've had this affinity for Hemingway Way ever since um, and in the same way that Brando changed acting with his um, his type of you know his, his brand of realism that he injected into into the form which you know erased the gestural stuff that had preceded him Hemingway sort of changed the, um, the literary style uh, with his brevity um, and the way he constructs sentences and there's something transfixing about how he writes and the way he describes things. And this is a beautiful love story and a war story. It's both. Um, and one of the greatest novels ever written. Uh, uh, Bloom is this beautiful uh, graphic novel about um, a kid uh, who's growing up in the seaside town and his Greek family has a very uh, popular baker bakery, um, which is beloved, but then they need him to stick around. But he has dreams of like going off uh, and finding fame with his uh, indie rock band um, and then he falls in love with his replacement uh, who he finds for himself and then isn't sure where what to do. Um, it captures the aimlessness um, and uncertainties of youth in a way um, that I haven't seen done uh, by a lot of books recently and I, I adore it. Social Creature which was recent, uh, Tara Isabella Burton um, which is another sort of um, modern slice of urban noir. Her writing is phenomenal darkly funny. Um, I don't want to tell you too much about the plot. It involves a murder and a friendship between two young women and um, a lot of other stuff going on. So uh, I think I covered what I wanted to cover. Scream All Night uh, was the first book I ever wrote um, and that came out in 2018 and Swipe Right for Murder is my most recent and that came out in August 2019. Um, and I'm Derek Millman and thank you. <laughs>